Hey guys, what's going on? Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com. Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com. And we make self growing planters. All you do is put, oh, by the way, guys, these are sunflower plants. We're growing sunflower to make oil so we can use it for cooking. We estimate that when you put your seeds or your plants in this planter, turn it on, you never water, you never feed, you only supplement the plant that we can grow lots and lots of sunflowers from this one planter. As a matter of fact, we're aiming to grow at least about a half a gallon. That's our goal. Because one sunflower head, if you squeeze it, all those oils will come out. So you don't have to, you can get natural, original oil as it was intended. And you'll have all the seeds to last you for the rest of your life. Just replant them. And a torpedo pot. Look how they're guaranteed to grow. Look at what they look like, they're beautiful. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. I'm going to dismount the camera and come up closer. You can see it closer, but I've never seen anything like it. This is torpedo pot. These are self-growing planters, and I, I don't have a problem with it. It's just you. It's stable. It's sturdy. That's beautiful. Sunflower plants. Torpedo pot is revolutionizing gardening. So you no longer have to buy a tiller, shovel, spade, trowel, or any of those tools to grow your food. All you need is one tool, a torpedo pot. You never water, you never feed, you only supplement. And we'll provide the supplements as of now. But you'll have perfect plants that we've experienced all of the time. All of the time. You follow our methodology. Torpedo pot, when we grow your plants, we don't feed the plant. Because the plant is the end product. It's almost like a, a child that's inside of his mother. You take care of the mother, you'll get a healthy child. And we believe that. So the mother of that child is right here. It's the algae that's building up. It's the fungal environment that's building up in that planter. And that's what's feeding your children. And they in turn feed you. So I've already thinned them out. I, I've had a lot growing in these. What I do with my torpedo pot, I walk up and with my sunflower seeds, all I do is throw maybe a 10, 20 sunflower seeds in one container. And when they start coming up, I transplant them all over the place. And, and I, just, I just got so much sunflower now. I don't know what to do. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So the sunflower is not growing by itself. The sunflower is growing with a tomato. Plant. So the tomato plant will give us tomatoes because it will drop down and fall and the sunflower of course which is our prized possession will stand up and grow and look beautiful the way they are right now. Oh my gosh guys this is beautiful. I never water, I never feed and I have this. It, it's amazing. You've got to try torpedo pot. I don't know what else to say. I don't have to do anything. I walk up this thing and I look at it and I have so many of them that I look at its beauty and I just, I'm in this complete awe. So this is what a sunflower starts to look like as it starts to develop and to grow through its life cycle. This is what it looks like. I've never seen it before, I never, remember, I never seen the red stem at the bottom because I've never had the health of my plant in an environment that can cause it to be fleshy. So Peter Pot does that. When you feed those microbes, you don't have to worry about your plant struggling to survive, to becoming woody and hard and non-usable. You'll begin to see that most of the parts of the plants are very much usable. But we just simply haven't discovered them yet because we don't have a stable system that will enable us to do that. So Peter Pie does it. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. I never grow sunflower. You know, I compete with my brother sometimes with growing foods and um, he grows in the ground. Uh, he's begging for torpedo pots. Got to get some out for him. And I grow in my torpedo pots. So we compare the results that we have. There's no other growing system in the world, in the ground, hydroponics, that will require as minimum little resources to grow a huge amount of food for you. Torpedo pot does that. In any house, hotel, food, city location, you put these torpedo pots out and you'll have food for the rest of your life. You just put your seeds in the soil. The soil is the engine of the planet. You never ever remove the soil. You simply add to it. And when you add to the soil, you're set for the rest of your life. 
darrenradison.com. I'm tired of talking. Talk to you guys later. All right, bye-bye.